Hey there guys and welcome back to Nimby Rails. It's it's going to be a quick one today because I just want to do a, a little look at the new stuff in 1.4 and the new beta. Except I don't have a lot of time and I've not worked out what most of it does yet. So <laughs> there's only a limit of what we can look at. The major thing is buildings and our thing. Which, as I understand, are completely aesthetic. There is no other purpose for them. But you've got a lot of different styles of thing, and then textures, I guess. And everything is really tiny. There you go, there's an awning. And then I could put adjacent to it another awning. They weirdly stretch, it's a little odd. And Moving them, I'll admit, is not the easiest. I, I'm yet to find a way to line stuff up properly. So it's just sort of the closest you can. But there you go. It's two bits for building. It's kind of got a platform awning. So you can build buildings. You can build the stations. And then that comes into actually creating new stations now. When you create a station, it you can select auto-append the base and auto-append the floors and ceiling. And that makes a texture, so there's a station. It's all in different pieces, so you can click the locks and sort of vaguely see where each piece is. But you can see it's kind of designed a platform with these tiles and then a canopy on the platform. You could also just turn off the floors and ceiling and just have the base underneath the track, or turn off everything. And once you come out of this mode, it just looks like normal track, but it's a station. So there's options available there. Um, apparently I didn't delete all of that. I'm going to leave this station here for now, because I'm going to start building with it. So, curved tracks... You can curve stations now. That's the big thing. Curved stations exist. This took me a long time to work out how to do. But to, to build a curved station, you press the button, and then you'd think you could just, like build it like you would a normal curve with three points build it like a spline, you don't it's like a normal station, two points um, get rid of that because I prefer to use this one to actually curve it you need to add more track on the ends so I'm using the normal track building tool drag out from the end and you can see as I drag this around it curves this half of the station so I can build like that and then I could drag out the other end and Okay, I say half, it turns out I mean third. I could drag out this end. Which I guess it, it probably would be half, but because of the way it calculates the curve. Or I could drag it this way and make it an S-bend. So you can make curved stations. I guess if I was to come over here and just build several parallel platforms which are going to look really weird. I could curve one of them out like that. Of course, doing this, you do also stretch the platforms somewhat. So there is that matter. But you can see I've kind of... The, the, all six platforms are on a curve at the end now. Um, yeah, it's a weird one. I... I'm not sure it's how I was expecting it to be implemented, but it certainly works. At least somewhat. Like, I guess you can do this if you wanted to tape all the platforms in at one end. I'm just sort of messing about with it now. Um, I think my main issue with it at the moment, and I haven't realised this in testing, is that the platform changes length as you drag. So if I put in a checkerboard tile here and then just just that you can see that marks where the end of the platform is now if I were to then build with a track the further I stretch out the next segment the longer the platform gets I don't know if whether if I build it without curved stations on, so this will just be a regular straight station. I build this, yeah, okay, so that now it's fixed. I can't, 
can't curve it, but I also it doesn't drag out, so that's still a factor. The curve station is a bit more flexible, but you might accidentally make it longer than you intended. Um, yes, so there is one other problem with the new update that I can't really demonstrate without going and loading my other map, so I'm going to do that quickly. So I will be back after the random wipe on the screen. Hello, I'm back. The game has loaded. So this is my current save. Um, this is a bit in advance of what you will see in next week's episode because I pre-recorded a bit and then that backfired because 1.4 came out. Um, so I've, I've done a bit of building off camera as well and then also what we do next week. But for now, I'm ignoring that. London is the main issue. Um, because there's so much track, I'm sure I can easily find a an example of the issues I've been having. Aha! Here's one. Yeah, so the um, the new coordinate system, they've basically they've changed how the locations of every track node are stored. And typically it's not too big an issue. If you ignore what that looks like. Um but then, especially when you've got crossovers on double track sections, you end up with this quite a lot. Um, so when I first loaded up my world the other day, on first updating, I was having a lot of crashes. Like, trains were crashing into each other because the lines now cross over when they're not meant to. Um, so I know what was happening on London Overground. Yeah, there's one here. There's a collision. Okay, I'd argue that's just the the route isn't working as anticipated, but which one of you is on the wrong track? You are. Um, I'm not convinced you're meant to be. Uh, this is another issue I've been having, is trains have changed their mind about what tracks they want to use. So as you come out of... What even route? Oh, this is the route all the way down to Portsmouth. Okay. Um, when you come out of Bristol, I know it's a weird concept, but how about you use that line? Happy? I think you're happy. I, I, yeah, I mean, this is, this is what I mean, this is just a mess. I, I don't think the game has a clue what it's done here. Quite frankly. So, I mean, stuff like this. It's irritating, but actually, in a way, it's kind of good. I just need to rebuild that station anyway now. So I might as well rebuild it curved, as it is in real life. Rather than just accepting it being straight. So, there's that as, as a factor involved here. I, Sorry, I need to reset that train. <laughs> um, no, I think I'll just pause the game, actually. Yeah, but, so there's there's a certain element of rebuilding as possible. I have no idea. I've already, oh no, I fixed that and then I didn't save because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this world. Yeah, I mean, there's so many issues and they'll just keep building up. Um... And the only way to fix them is go through that entire section. The only way to fix it is to go through and um, check every bit of track I've built in the past. Oh, South Henry Joy has worked quite well, actually. Oh, no, there's the crossovers. At times it's worked, and then at other times it does that. So, yeah, I mean, that's a lengthy process. And it's not what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Equally, I'm not starting this world again. I've already done that once. Um, so what it might be a matter of is the next couple of episodes I, I do are paused. While we build new stuff. And between sessions, I go back and fix old stuff. Maybe we'll do a stream at some point where we go through and fix a load of the old stuff just to try and get it up to speed and working again. 
because it's going to be all over the place. This, but then equally, having loaded this new world, I can now show off the other thing that I'd forgotten about completely. There's now a toggleable option for track in tunnels to display underneath the road layer on the map. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I may turn it off because it's a bit difficult to see the track, but it's on for now. I guess it's most obvious again in London, where the underground is. You can sort of see where some of the lines follow the roads now, in that you can't see the line anymore. Um, it's kind of cool, but at the same time it's a little awkward to actually build with. Oh look, some practice is broken. I can only dread to think what Waterloo looks like. Weirdly not the worst out of all of them. Um, it still seems to be partially functional. Some of them are going to need some adjusting though. London Bridge seems okay. I might take the opportunity while I go through and fix all the track to also go through and fix the trains that are currently, the routes that are currently running the wrong trains. Where new DLC has come out. It's going to be a long process. It'll be the next month or two, I think, probably, off-camera work, maybe some streams. We'll see. Depends how I'm doing for time. Any particular weekend. But yeah, that's a, a quick overview of the new additions that I'm aware of in the in the new beta. Um, it's currently still a beta. It's not fully released yet, I don't believe. But I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.